Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw exterior automatic dimension. One of the fastest ways to draw exterior dimension. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now guys, so you have a plan like this and you want to quickly draw dimension on four sides of the plan, that's exterior dimension. All you need to do is make sure you activate the dimension style you want. Let's say I want to use this, hold down my alternate down and click it. Now it has been activated. Okay, it has been stored as the last dimension, just in case I want to draw any dimension. So this size and style has been saved as the last dimension. The next thing you do is you select the exterior walls. Okay, you quickly select the exterior walls by using your marquee okay and then you draw around the wall you want to select like this now the next thing you do is activate this wall and say ctrl a to select all walls don't don't worry about it selecting the interior walls just select right then you go to your menu and you click document right then you go to, down to annotation automatic dimension and exterior dimension so this dialog box will appear and you see all the options here, the type of dimension you want on your plan. Now the first one is the overall, overall dimension and the second one is definitely a uh, center to center dimension which is for the grid line. Okay, it's called dimension external geometry. Then the third one is dimension structure which is the wall to wall dimension. And the fourth one is dimension opening, which is which is going to be dimension of this point, all the openings on your exterior plan. Now, all these settings are okay, and this is okay. Then you have a number here, which is distance between dimension line. It could be 500, it could be 450. It all depends on the, how you want your dimension to be. With the, the dimension between each, the, the distance between all these, right? You can put 500 if you want or 450, okay? So they are a little bit closer to each other. Then this should be activated, place dimension on four sides. So you say, okay, all right? The next thing you do is you see your cursor is showing like this. All you need to do is draw a line, vertical line or horizontal line. Now, you can see this wall is horizontal and this is vertical from our perspective. Then if you want to draw, if you want to use here, you draw a vertical line like this, or if you want to use this part, you draw a horizontal line like this, okay? Then you draw like so. And you click a little bit far from the imaginary line you drew. Then you say, you drew and all the dimensions will appear on four sides. Now that's not all. Fine, we are a little bit closer to what we want. Now, as you can see, you have successfully drawn automatic dimension on four sides. The good thing about the automatic dimension is it has placed it equally on four sides, unlike you doing it manually, which might not be equal. Now, you have to check if they are placed on the right opening you want, okay? So as you can see, this is correct. Then you go to the next one. We it chose this wall, this wall, and now you can see, I actually want to choose this wall, but it chose this and this. This is not what I want. So you can always delete some parts that you don't want and try to correct, correct it, okay? Just click and your text palette will open and then you click this and you click this. So it's giving us the actual dimension of the bat. And now you can see the one thing about it is that it doesn't fix the center to center properly. So you have to fix it manually. All you need to do is start adjusting it. Okay. So you just adjust it, click the point, the node, start adjusting it one by one. So I'm going to just select this dimension and, and click any part. The pet palette will appear, you select this node and it will be dragged to your 
to this point. Same here to this point, 600, as you can see. So I can easily just select this and... All you need to do is select, select the dimension, hold down control and click. Hold down control and click. Hold down my control and click. Hold down my control and click. The same thing you do here, you check if it has checked all the opening appropriately. Okay, check if it has actually checked the real opening you want. As you can see this, it didn't check this opening in, in the terrace. So you have to do that manually. You might be asking which one is faster. This is more accurate than trying to do it manually. And this is even faster. As you can see, it has chosen all the walls that I needed, and that's fine. So this for the center to center, you can always adjust. Okay, and you select that dimension, hold down your control and just click your grid line. Click your grid line, click your grid line. Then you click the grid line to break. So while you are panning it, release your hand from the control button. While you are panning it, release your hand from the control button. Just like so. Okay, so you can delete what you don't, the node you don't want. I saw one here, you can delete this, so that's fine. And now nah, that's okay for that part. So you do the same thing all over your plan. So this is basically how to draw automatic exterior dimension using Archicad. And it is actually very fast and accurate. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.